hey guys welcome back to my channel it's life of lobisa here back with another video welcome to my little space of the internet where i share content if you are new here my name is lobisa jao i'm a south african living in the united states i share live content here on this platform so please kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not and make sure the bell is on hit that like button anytime you exit the video so guys happy new month it's february finally january it's over and i'm so excited you guys because my january was it was just going it was just going so yeah so um i want to share a message with you guys and uh, this is the message was related to me because i always tell you guys anytime i pray anytime i speak to god anytime the holy spirit pours something in me i'm definitely going to share it here especially because i know there are people who are going through things that might be similar to mine and as the holy spirit minister to me concerning my issues or whatever i'm going through i'm going to bring it up here okay yeah that's what we're going to do so yeah january was a little bit steep and slopey for me and um i'm just gonna say i'm grateful that god um just always bring the beauty in anything that happens even though it's bad but there's somehow that he brings the beauty in it and as i was going through whatever i was going through that i'm not gonna share i i i had the holy spirit saying to me be aware of the season be aware of the season and uh, to me it was like oh wow okay Holy Spirit all right I hear you um, because um, at the time I don't know I felt like I was I was trying to be mad or I was just like mellow I was just like uh, again it's happening again and all that but the Holy Spirit said to me be aware of the season be aware of the season which i can say to you today that most of us we move without awareness we move without awareness we always think think things have to always be flourishing we always think that everything has to always be in a perfect place everything still has to work the way we want it to as much as the bible say everything works together for our own good even the predicament even the bad the, the, the beautiful the cute you know it works together for our good so sometimes when we go through challenges we feel like that is not of God honey it is definitely of God because remember Job he had to go through it and it is because God said you can go ahead devil go and check him out go and check him out so as I was thinking about it and the Holy Spirit was pouring this into me, I had to write it down. You know me, I'm going to write it down. Why should we, we be aware of the seasons? Why should we be aware of the seasons? The enemy used seasons to trigger anger, to trigger frustration, to trigger stress, to trigger um, anxiety, to trigger mental health, honey. The enemy uses that. But when we are aware... Being aware is a weapon for us. Being aware of the season is the weapon for us. You know that the season of the year, which is summer, spring, winter, and fall, you know how to dress for all that. So in life, we have the dress code for every season. There are seasons that require prayer. There are seasons that require fasting. There are seasons that just require praise and worship. There are seasons that require more of you being in the word of God. And there are seasons that requires stillness. Stillness meaning that shush and look up to the hills where your help come from. So as I was thinking about it, I just said, you know what, Lord, I want to share this with my people. One thing that the enemy does not want us to know or to be aware of is the season that we are in. Because look, when you are aware of the season, you have no pressure. You don't have any competition. You don't have to level up with anything or anybody because you definitely know where you are. You know exactly where you are. 
you are not to try to level up and be in the standard you know but when you are unaware what happens you get frustrated because you don't understand like lord why not me why i don't have the car by this time why god i don't have why am i sick right now like lord what is this because you are unaware and when you are unaware you make a lot of mistakes you you walk recklessly you 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 do things that you're not supposed to be doing so the enemy likes it when we are in that space where we are so unaware because he knows that we're gonna make two minute solutions to everything while we can wait on the Lord and have a permanent solution you know he wants us to make those fast track solutions that can put us into Places where we are not supposed to be, but if we were to wait on the Lord in the season and be still knowing that he is God, we could have gotten a permanent solution. One thing that God has shown us in the word is that seasons are not permanent. Even with Job, this was not a permanent thing. It was not a permanent thing why do I say when you are unaware when when you are unaware of the season you can work recklessly it's because of how Job's wife reacted to this remember on Job 2 verse 9 this is where I wrote it he said what did she say she said oh do you still hold fast to your integrity Cause God and die because this woman was totally unaware. Look, Job always reminded him, her that when God was doing all the good stuff for me, when God was blessing me, when God was making sure that my vessel never wore dry, when God was making sure that I am fulfilled, I am filled, and I'm rich, and I'm, I'm just, I have everything that he could possibly provide for me. You never said nothing. But now that God has put me into this, you feel like God is not enough. You feel like God is not enough because now you are in a season where you feel uncomfortable, where you feel like you are in between the, the two walls and you are unable to shift or move. Now you, you, you have to curse God and die. Really? So sis, my brother, be aware of the season. Be aware of the season. Because when you are aware of the season, you will know how to choose words. When you are aware of the season, you will know who to, walk, to talk to. When you are aware of the season, you will know if it's time to fast, to praise, to pray, or to dig into the word. When you are aware of the season, the enemy will not come play tic-tac-toe on your mindset because you are aware. And in awareness, we know that in due time, in due time, God will make things beautiful. That's one thing we have to understand. As we go through the season, as we go through the season, we have to always have our mind on the prize. You know, we have to always have our mind on the prize. That God, okay, I'm going through this. So I'm going to pray over it. I'm, go I'm going to pray through it. I'm going to fast and praise through it because the price is greater than what i'm going through at the moment so i've come to you today to say be aware of the season don't give up don't be like job's wife <laughs> don't be like job's wife don't be like Lord's wife who, when it was the season to pack up and go and she was told not to look back. He decided to look back. Honey, hello. Be aware of the season. I'm just going to say this little prayer. That Lord, thank you for your word today. 
I'm grateful that you have poured this into me and I'm grateful that I'm learning and I'm growing into your knowledge, into your wisdom, into your word. Lord, I'm thankful that you have made me aware that the enemy is the user of seasons is the user of predicament, is the user of anything that happens to us. And he is tricky and to put us in a box where we don't feel like you are there. I thank you that even in this time when we don't feel like we are comfortable, your presence remind us that, Lord, you are with us. Like you were with Abednego. Meshach and Shadrach in the fire. Lord, I thank you that you are God over all. I thank you that you know everything and anything that we go through. Anytime we are about to go through it, even before we go through it, and God, you will deliver us from all of it. Thank you for the grace of knowledge. Thank you for the grace to get to know you. For Thank you for the grace to even wake up knowing that the future is sustained because you, you God yourself, have us in mind. Thank you, even for those who are listening to your word today that are saying, Lord, even though it is hard, I'd rather be in your presence than be elsewhere. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my Lord in whom I trust. Let's see each other in another one. Bye.